Good morning, guys. This is your girl, Miss J, back with another video. Uh, coming to you this morning. I'm at home this morning. Uh, didn't have to work today. And I'm watching the news now where they're talking about this Jesse Smollett uh, thing that's going all across the country. And this young man has been locked up this morning uh, facing charges of not telling the truth, of doing something wrong. You... You orchestrated something that still puzzles me and everybody else. Why? Why would you do something like this? Over money? To keep yourself in the limelight? You're already in the limelight. You're on a popular TV show with hundreds and thousands of viewers who watch you on each and every episode that you're on. I've seen you in a few other pictures. You have a large family, a family that I'm sure that loves you. But you took your time and orchestrated with two other guys to do something that wasn't true. You know how many people walk home from work at night or on the bus, women, children, men who get off work late at night, who walks these streets trying to make it home and here you plotted something to say that someone attack you you got two guys from another country that's probably here on a visa that's probably going to be shipped out of this country if charges aren't brought against them they probably won't never be able to get back in this country you know what we're going through now with the border situation of not letting people back into this country that are here illegally, whether you come on a visa or what. When you commit a crime in this United States, whether it's here in the United States or any other country, you're going to be held accountable for it. Now, this young man took his time to think all of this up, to put it into play, to get these two brothers to help him, I don't know what he promised them. Did he promise that he could get them on more TV shows? Because what I'm saying, they're saying that he was an, they were extras. One of the brothers was an extra, and one of them was a trainer on this show. But my thing is, why would you do something like this? You know how many people need help and call for the police when something bad has happened to them, especially in the black community. You did something. I don't know, guys. Leave a comment below on what you think about this situation, on what this guy had done. Because I just, I don't get it. Why would you do something like this? I talk to my children and anybody else, and you see on the few blogs that I've done, I say, watch your children, protect your children. When you go to work, be safe. How can we be safe in our own community when someone is doing something like this, you went out late at night. When that happened, it was cold here in the city. Very, very cold. And you went out at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to get something to eat. And you're a celebrity without anybody with you. When what do we have now? We have so many uh, Ubers and, and Grubhub and Thing, places like that that you could just pick up a phone and order what you want to eat and it's brought to your door but you chose to go out that time of night in 25 to almost 35 below zero weather to go to subway to get something to eat you can't lie your way out of this then you're on national tv only the, all these different shows telling a, a untruth now, they, he's saying that is, he's innocent till proven guilty, which we are. We're innocent till proven guilty. But this young man, this is going to change your life completely. Completely, this is going to change your life. Why would you even do something like that? I just, I, I don't get it. It's so many people that are assaulted, attacked. Whether you in the city, you live in the country, or the suburb, 
by people and people don't believe them. And you just added to it. And, you know, I'm watching the news now here uh, in Chicago where the police department is making a statement. Uh, the young man has been uh, in custody. He came in about 5 some this morning with his attorney. Um, the two other gentlemen, the two brothers, uh, I don't know if they're going to charge them. But now they let them, you know, they let them go. But I'm pretty sure charges are going to be brought against them. If not, they're going to be deported back to their country, back to Nigeria. And don't think that this ain't going to come across Trump's desk. It's just adding fire to the flame on what he's trying to do now to keep people out of this country. People that do come here and wants to be here and better themselves. But you chose to get these two guys involved, which they could have said no. Don't get me wrong. They weren't forced by knife or by gun. They was forced by someone by this. By their mouths. By his mouth. That maybe what he could better their career. I just, like I say, I don't get it. And I don't know how many years. This guy could get jail time for this. Jail, actual jail time for what he has done. You think they're going to just let him walk away and with a pat on the back and say, don't do this again? And you get, you know, because this, I'm pretty sure he's sitting there in a jail cell wondering, why did I do this? What was I thinking? So what the police are saying, it was over a salary, a salary decrease for being on Empire. I don't know if he was being written off the show or they were saying last night his scenes were being shortened on Empire, where he was going to do nine scenes until it goes off for the summer, you know, the season finale. It had been de de decreased, excuse me, to less scene. And I'm looking at him now, his photo, his mug shot, him standing there, and I'm wondering, do he think, why did I do this? It, it I mean, it, it didn't even, it didn't even make any sense for him to even do this, guys, you know. And it's just a shame, you know, you just make it bad for all people, whether you're gay or straight, black, white, blue or green. You you just added fire to the flame. There are so many people who call for help, who actually need help. And what did he do? You wrote a letter to yourself. You had these guys to go to a hardware store and buy stuff you went to subway at two between two and three in the morning to get something to eat you don't even have to go out now to even grocery shop you can go on the app walmart app any app and food will be delivered to you you could pull up at the door of walmart and they'll bring your grocery out to your car you got Peapod, all these type of places that will bring your food to you. You don't even have to go out anymore. Uber Eat, all these places. But you chose to commit a crime to further your career because you was upset about a salary decrease. You were getting paid less. But this is from what they're saying on television because I'm watching a little of it now while I'm talking to you guys. What sense did that make for you to even do that? I don't even see any sense at all on why he did this. I'm pretty sure he's not a bad guy, because, but this made you look like, I hate to say it, a liar, which you lied. Now, if they can prove that you are telling the truth, fine. People will apologize to you and say, oh, I'm sorry that you are accused, you know, that the media all across the country is bad-mouthing you. But from what the police is saying, they got evidence, camera views. Uh, when the two guys got out of a cab and walked back, 
the guys got on the plane going back to Nigeria were due to come back between the 13th and the 14th of February, and they did. I just, you know, I don't get it. You know, we need the police for help when actually something is going on in this country, in the city, to help people who call out for help. Not for people who are lying to get attention. You got attention to yourself, all right. But look what it calls you in the end. Your freedom, your reputation, your career. I just wanted to come over here and just voice my opinion like anybody else is voicing their opinion. And I wish everybody who left out this morning safe, who dropped their children off at school, and who went to work or whatever you had to do today, just be safe, guys. Because the devil is really working out here. And this is Miss J. And if you have a comment, leave it below. And I'll be seeing you guys on the next video. And you guys have a wonderful and blessed day. And you guys just be safe, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.